There are also in the pe- people in the church where this is the case, where some of us are Christians, but we're not mature. Not mature. Hebrews 5 says it this way. It says, for someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. In other words, it's possible to experience salvation, but have yet to experience sanctification. There is a difference. They are not the same thing. That means that it's possible to know Jesus and not yet live like it. Okay? Notice that the writer of Hebrews doesn't say that people don't, you know, can't tell the difference between right and wrong. It's not that they can't tell the difference. It's that they don't know how to do it and live it out as of yet. Okay? There's, there's a big difference there. My first church plant was full of a lot of people who were really new Christians and new believers. And a lot of them had some, I mean, some pretty rough backgrounds, to be honest with you. And as a result, just because because of this is who we were as a church, like this is who our leaders were in the church, this is who our volunteers were in the church, this is who our board members were in the church. These were just the people who were coming and, and they were learning to live like Jesus, but very young in the faith. So we bought our first building, and we hosted a giant worship night to raise a whole bunch of money for a new sound system. Jamie Berg is here today. She was with me in that time. She's a friend of years and a friend of tears. And I'll tell you, she, you remember that, Jamie. We had that night. We raised this ridiculous amount of money, just insane. We raised $50,000 in one night for, to, for the installation of this sound system. At the, just an insane number. And to celebrate the victory afterwards, The worship team went out to a local bar, and they began, you know, to celebrate a little bit, right? Now, the only reason I even knew about it was because one of them slipped, and they said to me on their way out the door, Pastor Seth, you should come with us. We're going to go to the... Never mind. You probably don't want to come to that. That's what they said. So I was like, oh, really? I'm going to start texting some people. What's going on? Where's y'all doing? Where's everybody going? Ah, you're getting every... And he started talking to people. Found out what was going on. In the... I went home and, and I, in the middle of all this, and I, I sent out a text message to a bunch of people on that team. And I actually still remember what I said. I said, one wonders why it's necessary to celebrate something God has done with something that doesn't honor him. I was told later that that was the end of the evening amongst my friends on the worship team, that everyone was like, yeah, I got to go. I'm going home. Uh, That's it for me. Like, no, and it was. It it was was a situation. Everybody got the message, and that was the end of the party. That wasn't the only time something like this happened in that ministry, okay? It wasn't the only time something happened like that in the church. It was a recurring issue that kept coming up. Why? Because these are people who they know Jesus, and they love Jesus, but we're still growing, we're still learning, we're still maturing in the faith. They just don't know. And when people aren't mature in the faith, even though they know Jesus and they love Jesus, they will do things and say things that are not always representative of what they say they believe. Anybody here have teenagers? Yeah. I mean, models of personal consistency, right? Teenagers? Steady as she goes the whole way. They never are up and down like this. They're hormones alone. You don't know what kind of a monster is waking up in the morning, right? That's just the way it is. Integrity is not their middle name. That's a part of growing up. It's it's a part of maturing, learning how to not just to, to know the difference between right and wrong, but to live the difference between right and wrong. And listen, that includes how you handle people and how people handle you. Some of us, the reason we doubt God, doubt God and, the, and the reason we're even at home today watching church instead of physically being in the church is because of something someone said or did to us that came out of their immaturity. These are people drinking spiritual milk and telling you how to eat steak when they don't know the difference. 
Church hurt is almost always people hurt, okay? And church hurt is a problem. And for some of us, can I just encourage you that the immaturity that you experienced from other people, the temper tantrum of the spiritual teenager that you experienced, even if they had old wrinkles on their face and white hair on their head, I'm I'm telling you, I know some spiritual teenagers that are 75 years old, okay? All I want you to do this morning is recognize that what you experienced came out of someone's immaturity and not from the heart of God. There's a difference. Some people will hurt you because they don't know Jesus. Others will hurt you because they, ju- they just, they don't know how to not to yet. You know what I mean? And they, and they may never know. And that's the thing about maturity is you have to choose it. It's a process you have to choose in your life. Nobody can make you grow up faster. You know, we have a lot of adults running around today in the church. And, and when people don't choose it, people get hurt. And people develop doubts as a result. And church people aren't perfect people. 